Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I am going to teach you the cranial nerves that are 12 pairs that are present in human body. Before that, I would like to tell you something about my channel. My channel is started one day before and today is my very first video. I am making my very first video and my next videos will be based on your comments. So the topics that you would like to learn, just comment it on comment box and my next video will be the answer of your comment. Second thing is that I am active on Facebook so you can like my Facebook page Vipin Sharma Biology Blogs. I am repeating it once more. Vipin Sharma Biology Blogs for all the queries regarding any medical entrance examinations in which biological sciences or biology is a part. After that you can ask any of the queries regarding the paper pattern, previous year question papers in my, on my page or on the comment box of this YouTube channel. So let's come to the topic. In humans, 12 pair of cranial nerves are present. Remember, 12 pair of cranial nerves are present. And it is important to note the sequence of these cranial nerves. So we have to memorize the sequence of these cranial nerves, the nature of these cranial nerves, whether the cranial nerves are sensory, motor or mixed. So we have to memorize all those things, which is a very difficult task. So I have, I have just mingled a trick so that you can easily understand the basics behind the cranial nerves as well as you can easily memorize the sequence as well as the nature of these cranial nerves. So let's begin. The first cranial nerve in human body is olfactory. So first let's memorize the mnemonic which is the trick. Unala, um, out. These are the three cranial nerves which have a similar kind of spelling or similar kind of starting. So we just have to memorize it by a simple trick. Ulala of ouch to try and face a girl's vanity somehow. Again, Ulala of ouch to try and face a girl's vanity somehow. So how we are able to understand the name of cranial nerves based on this particular mnemonic? I am going to tell you that. Ulala, it contains O and L. So if it contains O and L, it simply means that the starting two letters will be O L, that is all factory nerves. After that, O and P that is O. In that particular cranial nerve, it will be OP that is optic. This is the second pair of cranial nerve. After that, O C in ouch, which means oculomotor. After that, T O, which means trochlear. After that, tri, which simply means tri or trigeminal. Trigeminal is star marked, and trochlear is also star marked. As these two pair of cranial nerves are star marked, it simply means that they have something special. So the special thing is that the trochlear nerve is the smallest pair of cranial nerves. The trochlear nerve is the smallest cranial nerve in our body. And the trigeminal word, it is also a trick that in trigeminal, a word comes that is tri, which simply means three. So trigeminal cranial nerve is going to divide it into three nerves into three different nerves which are ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular i am repeating it once again the trigeminal nerve is going to be divided into three other nerves that are mandibular maxillary and ophthalmic after that come to abducens ad that is abducens face simply means facial a means auditory you have to memorize Two cranial nerves that A, D is abducens and A simply means auditory. Girls is glossopharyngeal. Vanity means vagus nerve. Some spinal accessory nerve and how simply means hypoglossal nerve. So after that, we can note that the vagus nerve is also star marked. So vagus nerve is the largest cranial nerve. So the three star marked cranial nerves are trochlear which is the smallest one, trigeminal which is divided into three nerves and it is also known as dentist nerve, dentist who checks the teeth, dentist nerve and the vagus nerve which is the largest cranial nerve in our body. So once again ulala of ouch to try and face a girl's vanity somehow simply means olfactory, optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, auditory, glossopharyngeal, vagus, spinal accessory and hypoglossal. You will memorize it after repeating it once or twice. After that, we have to note what is the nature of these particular nerves. So, for noting that, 
there is another trick which is some says money matter some people says that money matters but my brother says big brains matter more some says money matter but my brother says big brains matter more in this mnemonic we just have to memorize the starting letter that is s s m m b m b s b b m m in these particular letters the s simply means sensory so all the cranial nerves in this particular mnemonic which are starting from s are sensory in nature all the cranial nerves which are starting from m are motor in nature and all the cranial nerves that are starting from b are both in nature both means these are both sensory as well as motor it means that these are simply mixed so this is the particular trick about memorizing the names of cranial nerves their sequence their number because in some competitive examination it is asked that which of the following cranial nerves is sensory in nature and the options would be like cranial nerve number 1, 2, 3 and 4 so you have to memorize the sequence as well as you have to memorize the name and you have to memorize the nature of these cranial nerves which are already set so as this is my first video I am expecting only one like from this video so just like it and subscribe to my channel as I am new so just uh, support me guys thank you very much for watching this video